Hello guys, today we are going to talk about, bo about a book called Little Princess, One Man's Promise to Bring Home the Lost Children of Nepal by Connor Grenin. Well, I love this book very much. Reason being, I've been to Nepal in 2010 and I love the country. So this book is based in Nepal, so I really enjoyed reading it. Well, I read it some time ago, uh, but then I wanted to read it again, so I read it again. Anyways, uh, this book is basically about a man called uh, Connor Grenin, who is a 29-year-old man from the United States of America. Uh, there's a civil war going on in Nepal. That's where the book starts, actually. What happens next is that Connor Grenin embarks on a journey around the globe stopping over in uh, stopping over in Nepal. He goes to an orphanage in Kathmandu, Nepal where he volunteers to work for three months uh, to help the orphans who are there and to educate them and to take care of them. But then he finds a very big truth. The fact that uh, these children were not actually orphans, but they were basically children who had been snatched from their parents and families and traffic, uh, they were trafficked uh, uh, falsely uh, and abducted. That's what happens in the book actually. So they are, the novel, the book is just amazing. Uh, it's as I told you before, it's based in Nepal, and since I went to Nepal in 2010, I can relate to the details that the author has given about the city of Kathmandu, Nepal. He talks about Thamil, which is the downtown of Kathmandu, Nepal, and he's given a lot of descriptions about Thamil, Kathmandu, and Nepal and stuff like that. So he tries to help the children, the so-called orphans who are there. That's what happens in the book. That's what the whole book revolves around. The children, the lost children of Nepal. And Little Princess uh, is the title of the book. Basically, Little Princess is the orphanage where the children were kept. And that's what happens in the book. What uh, the he, he the the rest of the book revolves around the children and about Nepal, which and it's a very well written book, uh, and it deserves uh, a prize. I think it deserves the Pulitzer Prize for nonfiction. Anyways, so what happens next is that he goes to Bangkok, Thailand, uh, during the tsunami in two thousand and four, uh, December two thousand and four, to tell you the truth. Uh, and then he goes all over the world and then he comes back to Nepal and in Nepal he sets up a foundation called NGN which is short for Next Generation Nepal. He forms that organization to help the poor children of Nepal and to bring them back to their families. Okay. What happens next is that he goes up in the uh, the details given of Nepal are just very good and I want to go back to Nepal again by reading this book which is, was really nicely written. Anyways, so he goes up in the villages of Nepal where it is very difficult to go to to uh, uh, find the parents of children who have been sold trafficked like this and he wants to find the uh, children uh, children's parents and uh, get them like uh, reunite them with their children and he has a very uh, hard time doing so and it's a very emotional book and it makes you want to cry uh, looking at the children who have to suffer so much and have been snatched from their parents and stuff like that so uh, he tries to help them by going into the mountains and the villages. So the whole story revolves around the children and the lost children of Nepal. And there are details given about Kathmandu and the district called Thamil. Anyways, 
what happens next is that um, uh, he's back in Nepal after going around the world for one year he starts talking to a lady called Liz who he falls in love with and uh, her full name is Liz Flanagan he falls in love with her, her and uh, they start emailing each other and then they meet in Nepal and they fall in love and they want to get married so after spending some time in Nepal they go back to the United States and they get married and have children and that's what happens in the book so uh, they have two children basically so this book was just fantastic I just loved it like anything and the details of uh, Nepal were amazing so that's what happens in the book guys and uh, the uh, ending of the book was quite abrupt actually to tell you the truth and uh, he misses Nepal and uh, the children really miss him as well and uh, because he's been so nice to them and taken care of them when they had no one who cared for them and that's what happens in the book and then the book ab ends abruptly and uh, uh, that's what happens in the book okay bye guys